Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Quip toothbrush. A lot of you have been seeing them on Instagram, social media influencers posting about it. So come hang out as I give you my review. Check it out. I really like this case. It came with their own toothpaste. It's 0.12% sodium fluoride, which is kind of like most toothpaste out there, which is great. I fully support the fluoride. Here's the toothbrush. It comes in this cool little tube here. Um, it has this neat little holder, and this holder has double-sided tape on the back, so you can mount it on your mirror in your bathroom, or you can use this as a travel case which I think is a great idea. Their cheapest toothbrush is their plastic one. It's $25 and, and then $5 recurring every three months and you get a new head on your toothbrush and a new battery. You can get the more expensive metal one like this, which I really like the styling on. It's $40 and then again, $5 every three months for a new battery and head on the toothbrush, which I fully support. I actually change out my toothbrush probably around once a month just for you know, because I have extra toothbrushes. What I really like about the toothbrush are the bristles. I like the little rubber ones on the outside of the softer bristles in the middle. You see that? And why I like that is because we like to have a softer toothbrush. That way it's nice and easy on your gums. When you have a hard, aggressive toothbrush, it can cause recession or wearing down of the enamel or the dentin along the gum line. It's called an abrasion of the toothbrush. So here's a little demonstration for you. This is the Sonicare, and these real, it really isn't a fair comparison because the Sonicare is five or four times as expensive as the Quip, but just as demonstration purposes of its cleaning power, watch the liquid. This is the Sonicare, and watch the liquid. And then you can watch the bristles move. Versus with the Quip, you put it on here. It's hard to get results, but then again, this is Sonicare's demo. Um, here's the movement of the bristles, if you zoom in here. So not much movement, but it's not a fair comparison because the Sonicare truly is four times as expensive. But that's just a little demonstration on the power of the Quip. Again, I really like the affordability of it. It's got great styling. I like the travel case that it comes with and the refill plan. The refill plan is great because we all forget, we all have that old toothbrush sitting next to our sink that's been there for way too long. They do come in different colors with the metal or the plastic, depending on which one you have. The metal comes in rose gold, gold, silver, or a black finish. Well, that wraps it up for today's video. Stay posted. I'm going to be comparing the Quip to several other brands that are on social media right now, including Burst and Gobi. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming next. Thanks, guys.